today's video I'll be making a spring roll it's going to be vegetable and chicken and this is the pastry that I bought from the Chinese shop I'm not going to make my homemade one today I'll be using this what I've decided to do I've separated some and put it in this plate here so what I'm going to do I'm going to separate the sheets and then I'm going to cover it up with a tea towel to stop it from getting all dried. So you won't be seeing any more of this until you see me actually preparing them when I'm wrapping them ready for fry. So what I've got here is um, some cabbage. I've just have half of a cabbage, um, carrots, onions. You can use red or white onions. All the sweet peppers that you call bell peppers. I've got the red, yellow, and I've got some spring onion. A little bit of thyme, fresh thyme, you can use any thyme you want. And over here, I've got some bean sprouts. And these, what I've got in my plate is already washed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut them up and prepare them to get all steamed up nice. I'm going to cut these really, really small. Try and cut them as small as you can because remember the spring roll sheets are very thin. So you want your vegetables not to be too thick. I see I've um, prepared my vegetables that I showed you, my um, bean sprout and my cabbage. I've grated my carrots and all the sweet peppers, bell peppers that you call them. Everything is all prepared. So I'm setting this to the side now. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut my chicken up. It's already washed with vinegar and salt and lemon. I'm just going to cut it up and then I'll come back and show you as I go along. So I'm just cutting my chicken that I've washed. And it's just um, one piece of chicken breast. So I'm just cutting it really, really small. And um, the seasoning that I'm going to use on it is um, these seasoning that you see I've got over there. I've got some garlic powder because I don't have any fresh garlic today. Um, but you can use anything you want to season. The seasoning that I chose to use is optional. You choose what you want. I've got some chicken seasoning. I've got some all-purpose black pepper and um, um, like I said the garlic powder I won't be using any salt because I might use some um, soy sauce so this is how you cut it really small so how you all doing I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you that has watched my channel subscribe um, hit that notification bell comment Remember to like, share, and thank you very, very much. As you already know, that subscription is for free, and every subs one that subscribed to me is appreciated. Thank you ever so much. So here's the chicken I've already seasoned and soaked. So I'm using vegetable oil. You can use any oil you need to fry it. So in my pot here, I've got two tablespoons of oil, and I'm just going to put them in. Ooh, this is a bit hot here. Yeah? Just put them all in like that. Yeah, and just keep on turning them until they fry the way how you like them of your choice. I'll show you mine. So yes, now this is finished after six minutes. This is how I like it. So I'm going to transfer it to a different bowl. And the reason why I could, I'm doing this, I could have just put the vegetables in the same pot. But the reason why I'm doing this is because in my household is that everyone eats chicken. So I have to keep it nice and real. So I'm going to do the vegetables different now. So I've transferred now. Um, this wok is just um, for the vegetables. So in here, I've got a tea um, table and a half spoon of vegetable oil. You can use any oil you want. You can use sesame oil. So in goes this. I thought to put this first because I want it to start nice and 
soft. Not very soft, but you know. Wow, it smells gorgeous in here. Wow, wow, wow. Very nice. Look at this. And over here I've got my seasoning to go with it. I'm going to put the cabbage and the bean sprout next when that goes a little soft. I'm going to put the carrots to last because I don't want the carrots to be like too soft. I want everything to be crunchy. And in here for the vegetables, I've only had some all-purpose seasoning, a little pinch of salt and some black pepper. So that's all I'm going to put in here. So I've had the bean sprout and the cabbage, like I said, and I'm putting the carrots last. And all the, the, the seasoning that I told you, I've decided to add some vegetable stock into it, dry vegetable stock. Yeah? And this now is down to you how you like your vegetables. But for me, I don't want it too soft. So I'm going to carry on like this for another two minutes and then I'm going to take mine off. So I've pulled down the vegetables for 15 minutes. And what I did, I put um, all the vegetables in the strainer and drain all the, the juice off. So this is it now. Because you, you want to make sure that you take every liquid out so that you don't have any liquid to wrap with the spring, um, spring roll sheets. Because what will happen, it will make it all break. And then this is the chicken over here. Make sure that your chicken is really, really small. So you can put them in a food processor. Or you can use nice clean hands that I did and put them up all small like this. So what you will be seeing next is when I'm rolling them up and getting them ready to fry. Guys, here's the spring roll. I'm going to show you how I wrap them now. So I separate them from the sheet like this. Yeah, I'm ensuring that they don't get break. Like that. Nice. And then I'm going to use one tablespoon. Now these are quite broad. And I've got some water over there as well. So make sure that you tuck it under like so. And look at my pot over there with my oil in it. You can use a deep fryer if you have one. So do it tight like that. Like that. Like that. And then the edges now. Because this one is quite broad, you do the edges like this. Dip your nice clean fingers in some water or you can use cornstarch if you want or flour and water if you don't have that. And then you do this and then you do the same for down here. Yeah, and then you wrap it all up like so. Look at that. And then it's going to be ready to fry in some nice hot oils hot now and i'm gonna start frying so in there goes and you can use any oil you want this is a lot of oil and it depends on how much you're frying yeah so when you see them next is when they're all finished wow look at that they look so nice and they smell great This is the finishing touch of my, oh my God, my spring roll. It is amazing. It's not a quickie, but it's nice to know how to do it. This is my first time doing it. Like I said, I love it so much, so I have to do it myself. So I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, when I display it like this is because I'm going to heat it right now. So i use like in in here i've got some um chili sauce i like chili sauce but you can use sweet and silly sauce you can use anything you want to dip it you don't even have to dip it it's nice it's flavorful it's beautiful i just want to say thank you all for watching this video please like share subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell that's whenever your lady opal post a video you should know love you all i just want to say a cup of tea and chill.